What is up everyone? So I just came back from school and I'm gonna be evolving myself the Sasuke Heavy. Yeah, we're gonna evolve it right now as we speak. Alright, of course we're gonna make him level 100. That is a must-have. Alright, okay, we need to lock these units because I don't wanna, you know, accidentally use them. And of course we're gonna use Poochie, bruh. Like, I have two of them. I have two of them. Like, I don't even need it, bruh. So I'm gonna unlock both of them. All right, now fuse some units. Yes. Okay, hopefully he is a good unit. And if he's not, then I'm gonna cry. All right. Do this. Nice. Then just double check. I didn't use like an important unit. Okay, I don't think I did. So yeah, and then if I did, then I'm gonna cry. All right, I don't think I did. Then make him level 100. Okay, where's my auto clicker at, bruh? Yeah, my auto clicker. Okay, place my auto clicker here. Okay, let's go. Yes. Go faster. Why is it so slow? There we go. More satisfying. Imagine if we don't have enough to make him level 100. That would be crazy. Alright. Yes. Level 100. Sasuke Hebi. 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 Alright. So what do we need for us to evolve this guy? Sasuke. That's okay. Yes, so we will be needing the lightning blade. All right, let's go buy this. Let's go buy this bad boy. Lightning blade. Yes, there it is, guys. All right, now go to traits and evolve. And I assume the best trait you can get on Sasuke is divine since you can place four of them down. Yeah. Alright, Sasuke heavy. Yippee! Look at this guy. So you'll be needing these stars. Pretty nice. And he will gain plus 30% attack and Kirin. Yo, Sasuke Storm. Let's get it. Okay. Now let me just equip him on this team. Nice. Equip him here. Then equip Metal Knight too. I mean, we already have Metal Knight equipped. Never mind. Alright, let's equip Wenda. Why not? Yes, sir. Alright, let's go ahead and take a look at this brand new unit in this update 10.7.5 by the way since he got added in this update if I have not said and we will find out by the end of this video if he is a must have and do keep in mind there is going to be a top 10 must have units right after this one so make sure to subscribe and drop a like if you guys are excited to see that and yeah let's go alright boys so he does not have a cosmetic if you wear him, which it is fine. So hopefully this unit will be overpowered because it's a new unit. So of course, that's what I expect for new units to come into this game. Yes. All right. Where is um, show damage? Yes, sir. All right. Let me just place him at the front. Place all my money makers. All right. Look at that animation. It looks pretty clean. It looks pretty clean. And look at that. It's a small AoE circle at the moment, but I'm sure the AoE circle will get bigger as we upgrade him. Yes, sir. And he does have two power types. The first one being magic and the second one being lightning, which is pretty nice since we barely have any good lightning unit except like Lucky or Erja Lightning. And they don't, you know, they're not obtainable anymore. As well as heavy weather. He's not obtainable anymore. So most electric or lightning units are gone so yeah all right let's upgrade these yummy yummy yes sir all right so excited bro hopefully he's gonna be all peace and i hope that my rng stats will be good because oh my god bro if i have like one of the worst rng stats then i'm gonna cry i'm gonna actually check it right now i'm gonna check my rng stats as we upgrade my units bro because i swear if my uh my sasuke storm is bad then i'm gonna cry all right let me see so in the wiki it is 2396 2393 damage with a 23 range and 6.5 seconds ability cooldown or spa so mine is better yeah mine is better so i'm glad all right let's go ahead and start upgrading this sasuke storm all right 
So his base stats is 2,697 damage with a 6.4 seconds ability cooldown and 23.7 range. All right, next upgrade. At upgrade one, his stats is 7,416 damage with a 6.4 seconds ability cooldown and 23.7 range. Pretty nice, pretty swag. Yes, yes. All right. At next upgrade, he will gain a brand new ability called Chindery La Lament. Oh, I don't even know how to pronounce it, bro. So I'm so sorry if I pronounce it wrong. All right, look at that. And it's an even bigger AoE circle, which is pretty crazy. Look at that. Looks pretty nice. And he still has not hit air. I mean, he still can't hit air, I mean. And at upgrade 2, his stats is 9,439 damage with a 5.9 seconds ability cooldown. And... Um, 23.7 range. Bruh, my brain. My brain, bruh. Alright. Okay, upgrade 3. Give us the mullahs. Yes, yes. Alright. Come on now. Yay. Alright. At upgrade 3, his stats is 14,833 damage with a 5.9 seconds ability cooldown and 24.7 range. At upgrade 4, his stats is 18,879 damage with a 5.4 seconds ability cooldown and 24 point seven range and at upgrade five he will gain a brand new ability called onyx chidori let's take a look at this everyone is it a bigger aoe circle oh it isn't i don't think there's any changes of the aoe circle maybe there is and i don't realize but it seems that the aoe circle is still the same size so it is what it is all right let me just upgrade my money makers all right so his stats at upgrade five is thirty three thousand seven hundred. 13 damage with a 5.4 seconds ability cooldown and 25.7 range. At upgrade 6, his stats is 40,455 damage with a 4.9 seconds ability cooldown and 25.7 range. At upgrade 7, his stats is at 53,941 damage with a 4.9 seconds ability cooldown and 25.7 range. Yes! And at upgrade 8, he will gain a brand new ability called Kirin. So... Dang, he's costing quite a lot of money right now to upgrade. All right, Kirin, let's take a look at this. And look at that. It is a bigger AoE circle, and I believe he can hit air now. Yeah, look at that. He can hit air now at upgrade 8. And it does stun as well, guys. It stuns the enemy, and you guys will see that he will stun this, right? Stun that. Look at that. It's stunned. Yes, sir. So at upgrade 8, his stats is 8. 1,111 damage with a 7.8 seconds ability cooldown and 35 range. Yes, sir. All right. Upgrade 9. His stats is 107,882 damage with a 7.8 seconds ability cooldown and 36 range. Pretty nice. And I just compared my Sasuke Storm to the wiki, uh, wiki stats. And apparently, mine does 10k more damage or 12k more damage. So... I'm pretty happy with that, and yeah, my SPA does 2.2 seconds better, and I have one range better than the wiki. So I think my Sasuke is actually very good. All right, and you can place four of Sasuke Storm, by the way, so that is actually pretty nice. So let me just test his DPS. Let's take a look at his DPS, all right? I don't know what I was doing with that. Oh, I was, t I was, uh, I was seeing how many Tomo I had, uh, how many I needed, all right? Let me just bring my um, calculator to the other screen. All right, let's see this. So, 107,000. Oh, I need to do this. I can't see my keyboard, bro. 107,882 divided by 7.8. And it's 13,831.02 DPS. And we times it by 4 since we can place down 4 units of Sasuke Storm. And then we times it by 60 then that is the damage per minute. Wait, that's actually crazy. Especially Denji plus power does 3 million. But the fact that you just need to bring one Sasuke is already enough to do to deal 3 million damage per minute. Wait, that's actually crazy. And you got to think about on how Sasuke can also stun enemies. Like, look at that. The animation actually looks pretty clean. Yeah, thank you all so much for watching. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. okay, goodbye now, guys. I love you. Bye-bye-bye. Yeah, bye-bye. <laughs> oh, my. I need to drink water, bruh. Hopefully, you guys do the same. Yeah.